Hold up. If you want to win this very academic, wait around until the end of the video. We're going to tell you how. This one. This one. He'll give it a little smooch. <laughs> What's up, Spikes? Welcome to another Bill and Elliot tell you about a thing video. <laughs> What's up, Spikes? I'm Bill. And I'm Elliot. And today we're going to be showing you through the Academic 133 Plus XL. Uh, we're going to be doing a demo of this product today, uh, showing you some of its features, what it can and can't do. And uh, I'm really excited to be able to uh, show this to you with my buddy Elliot over here. That's me. And uh, yeah, shout out to our lovely sponsor, Gamegenic. They sponsor the channel all the time. But they also sent uh, us these for us to demo for you today. So big shout out to them. And you know what? Shout out to the big guy, Telerian Community College as well, without whom this uh, product would not even exist. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, like he said, we're going to show you some stuff, tell you the stats. Let's get right into it. So last summer, Gamegenic and the professor at Tillerian Community College came together to, uh, you know, kind of design this product, the academic. Uh, there was a Kickstarter for it initially that was hugely popular, raised about $4 million. Uh, so obviously this is a solution for a problem that players were having. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it holds a deck, it holds all of your accessories in one box if you're going to your LGS or your friend's house or whatever event you're going to, or the 266 that holds two decks, mm -hmm. right? Kind of same solution with all of the uh, tokens and accessories inside, but two instead of one. Yeah, so it was previously only accessible through that Kickstarter, which has since ended, of course. But now, uh, effective this past Friday, um, Gamegenic has decided to release this to retail. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is now something that you can go to your LGS and buy. You can get the 133 Plus XL, you can get the 266, whichever one fits your needs. Uh, it is now available for you wherever you go, essentially. Right on the outside, you can see it's got the Tolarian Community College logo. If for whatever reason you don't want that, it also comes in the Stealth Edition, so you can get it uh, logo-less. Still a sleek exterior, kind of a velvety finish, uh, but let's see what's going on on the inside. So let's kick things off by uh, starting our look at the 133 Plus XL. Uh, so first of all, we have the lid here, which is fully magnetic and comes completely off. And you can kind of put it on the bottom of the academic as well. Uh, just sort of makes it so that it's a little bit harder to lose. Uh, it's a nice little form factor as well. Doesn't take as, take up as much space on your play mat, uh, which then reveals, of course, the two different sections, mm -hmm. uh, the different segments of this deck box. We have the main sort of compartment here for your deck. This can fit uh, either just sleeved cards. This is actually 100 triple sleeved cards, just to give you an idea of how much space this provides you. These are also, uh, there is like a decent amount of room remaining. Uh, it's not like really, really crushed in there or anything like that. Uh, and there's a little acrylic divider that it comes with. Uh, because it is a little bit wider than a sleeved card, but you can either remove or add this depending on how much room you want. If you wanted to take it out, you could put a deck box in there. Um, so you could have you know, a deck box inside of the academic just for a little bit of extra protection or a little bit more um, versatility in mm -hmm. terms of how uh, portable it is. Definitely. And then on the other side here, we've got uh, this other flap that comes down and it's got a couple uh, compartments here that we were talking about. Uh, this is the solution uh, that they thought up. You can put tokens in here, infinite tokens or any other kind of tokens, uh, not a sponsor, just a cool person. Or, you know, we've got some spike feeders dice. These are uh, spikefeeders.com slash store. These are our big ones. So if you're, you know, not a weirdo like we are, you could fit even more than six uh, smaller dice in here. Or, uh, like we were mentioning with tokens, if you've got sleeved tokens, each of these little compartments can fit up to 40 double sleeved cards. Mm -hmm. So moving on to the 266 plus XL, this is obviously the larger offering and gives you twice as much space for cards, uh, which I think is fantastic because, you know, if you're having one of those days where you just can't decide what deck you want to bring to your LGS for your Commander Knight or something like that, if you're trying to, if you're uh, waffling between two decks, just bring them both mm -hmm. and you can make the decision on the day of. Uh, and I think that's actually a really useful thing to have. <laughs> yeah, and as you can see here, uh, we're showing off on this one that it can fit the Gamegenic Bastion in it just by removing that uh, acrylic divider we were talking about before. As well as uh, on this side, we've got two of the Gamegenic uh, Bastion 50 pluses. And we were talking about, you know, token options, storage in these guys. Same thing on the 266. It's just got twice the deck spots, but same token or other accessory storage, like sleeves, uh, speaking of a game night, if you're going on a Friday night for a draft or something like that, or if you've got a commander that's uh, particularly special to you or something, you can put it in one of the Gamegenic slide cases as well. Mm -hmm. Or uh, maybe some flesh and blood equipment. 
Oh, speaking of flesh and blood equipment, actually, uh, like we mentioned, these fit uh, the Bastion 50 pluses perfectly, uh, which is fantastic because that's uh, honestly the perfect size for a Blitz deck. Uh, and conveniently, uh, there was a product that did have four Blitz sized decks in it, and that is uh, another one of the Professor's uh, collaboration projects with uh, Legend Story Studios, the Round the Table product. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you wanted a really, really premium case for that, uh, something to carry around to a game night, just have a UPF game in a box uh, for four people, uh, this would work absolutely wonderfully for that as well. So for the 266 Plus XL, uh, it comes in this beautiful black and purple colorway. This is the only colorway that the 266 has come in. Mm -hmm. But for the 133s, we actually have quite a few different options. As we sort of showed you uh, previously, there's this green with black interior. There's also teal and pink, as well as uh, purple all the way through. This is the Stealth Edition, and then black all the way through for the Stealth Edition as well. And as well, from the Kickstarter, they uh, introduced this product known as the Size Morph Divider. Uh, Again, the ones from the Kickstarter were inscribed kind of with the Telerian Community College logo. So if you missed out on those or you're picking up a Stealth Edition without the logo anyway, they've also got a bunch of size morph dividers in either matching or all sorts of colors. So, you know, if you pick up the black Stealth one and you're playing a Rakdos deck, you could get a red size morph to put in there, uh, that kind of thing. So all in all, really, really exciting products. Uh, we're really, really happy that GameGenic was able to send these over to us so that we could demo them for you. Mm -hmm. Huge shout out. Uh, they do sponsor us, but we do also just really appreciate their stuff. It's really high quality. Uh, you should go check them out. Uh, hopefully your local game store carries their products. If not, you should definitely ask for them because they're they're fantastic. Yeah, just say please, 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 please. As well, um, like you said, if you find them at your local game store, the MSRP on the uh, 133 plus XL is gonna be $49.99 USD and on the 266 is $84.99 USD. So definitely a steal of a deal at that uh, type of price for this mm -hmm. quality product. Mm -hmm. And you know, we teased them long enough. If you're wanting to enter the giveaway for this, definitely go check us out on Twitter. Make sure you're following us and GameGenic over there and we'll have a post. It'll be a link in the doobly-doo. Go enter and uh, good luck to all of you. We'll uh, see you in the next one.